Chapter 3 of Paul's letter to Galatians begins with a strong charge, as you can read. You foolish Galatians, who had bewitched you before your very eyes, Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed as crucified. The word translated as bewitched means exactly the same in Greek. To Paul, a group of Christians from Galatia were like evil spell for a kind of harmful teaching, and it is recorded starting verse 2. It would like to learn just one thing from you. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by believing what you heard? Are you so foolish? After beginning by means of the Spirit, are you now trying to finish by the means of the flesh? The disagreement core was salvation by faith or by works. The definition of each one is plain simple. While salvation by works teach a good behavior is the key point to be saved by God, salvation by faith teach that only faith in Jesus' grace is the assurance of man's salvation. Those teachings are opposite, and it is not possible to believe in both at the same time. Salvation is due by human endeavor or by Christ's merits. Today, such controversy still remains, and maybe the reason for that is salvation amazes so much. It is so distressed when someone offers us something for free. We have been educated to receive rewards according to our efforts, but, however, the salvation path is the opposite way of such thinking. According to the Bible, the cross was, was illogical according to him on patterns. Hanging on it, Jesus Christ received upon him an undeserved penalty in order to give something we don't deserve. So, at the feet of the cross, salvation only happens by faith alone, based on the merits of Jesus Christ. But you may ask, how about obedience? Does it mean we don't need to obey anymore? The answer is a big yes and no. First, a big no, we don't need to obey God's commandments in order to reach His salvation, as it is freely offered to every sinner who asks for. And yes, we obey His commands as an expression of a grateful heart for all He had done for us. Do you understand, my friend? One is the cause and another is the consequence.